Hey subscribers and watchers, what's up? It's me, Waves from Slider here. In this JavaScript tutorial video, I'm gonna talk about how we can add external JavaScript code to our HTML with separate files. So far, what we had is HTML in one file and the JavaScript, CSS and everything mixed up together. But from here, we're gonna talk about keeping JavaScript separate from HTML. And the question that you guys have, why would we do that? Because as your website changes, the HTML code is gonna change, the JavaScript code may change and it will be easier for you guys to change stuff when everything is kept separately. You know exactly which file to open and what to modify. That's not the case when everything is packed up in one single place. So how do you include external JavaScript files? Very simple. You have the script tag. For that you use the source attribute. The value of the source attribute is a URL which can be an absolute URL or a relative URL that contains the location of the page which is example.js. Notice the extension it's .js over here. Then this file example.js is loaded on your browser and all the code inside this file is run and then your HTML execution starts. So if you see this the code that the code for JavaScript within the script and the closing script tags which you guys would normally write in the internal JavaScript file is what you will put up separately in the external file out there. So now let's go to WebStorm and take a look at how this thing looks and how it works and you guys will get a good clue of what we are doing. So I am running JetBrains WebStorm over here and if you guys notice there's a simple plain HTML5 page over here which says title external JavaScript test and then there's a H1 which says what's up from Slider and Vibs. If you run this page right now on Chrome this is what you're gonna see nothing. Now here what we are gonna do is first create the JavaScript file right inside the same directory. If you notice here, there's my project, there's HTML folder, and then there's the home.html inside this. So I'm gonna go here and create a JavaScript file right inside this directory. I'm gonna call it test.js, whatever. You just have to write test because the IDE will take care of putting the .js for you. Click OK. And inside this I'll do nothing great, just write a simple alert that says hello world, and we are good to go. And now I gotta go here back to home inside my header section I'll go I'll write script I don't need to write the type I'll simply write the source here I'll say test.js and all I gotta do is save so what will happen now is that each statement is gonna be run by your browser and when it comes over here script source is test.js it's gonna download this file it's gonna open this file run all the instructions written one after the other inside this file and then it will come back to your body and it will show this document which says what's up slider and Bible. now let's take a look at that here with the help of Opera I have. So as you guys notice it says hello world perfectly over here. If you click OK then it comes back here and then it says what's up from Slider and Vivs. So <clears throat> let's take a look at keeping now the problem with this approach is test.js and home.html are in the same directory. This is not the case. What people usually do is they keep CSS files separate. They keep JavaScript files in a separate folder. So let's go to the project at the top. See new directory. Call that JS, click OK. Move this file test.js inside this directory over here. Click OK. And as you guys notice, there have been some changes here in the URL. Now let me actually rub this out and show you exactly what kind of stuff we need to do. Currently, we are inside home.html. We want to come outside, which is inside the HTML folder. So we want to come outside this folder HTML by saying dot dot slash. And now we are free to move to the JS folder. So we put JS over here and then we put another slash and now to go to this file test.js we simply write the name test.js and that's how it works. Now if you go back to Opera over here and if you see there you go hello world click OK that's run and then this statement starts executing. So this is how you link external JavaScript files in your web applications and this is the, uh, the way you keep them separate. Now this is gonna let you modify the file separate. Now here you can go and simply add something else. Maybe you can calculate something. You can add a for loop or whatever you want over here. And here in the home.html you can develop the HTML page separately which means two separate people can work in the separate files at the same time and that is a lot better than what you have and everything is crumbled together. Now let's go back to the slides and take a look at certain points that we need to cover. So remember as, as soon as you write that statement script the processing of the page is halted, the external file is completely interpreted and of course you can omit the closing script tag when you talk about XHTML documents but here since we are talking about simple HTML I didn't do that. 
Now people often write this over here which says script type is text JavaScript source example.js and they just put this closing slash just like X HTML. Now this uh, may have, may cause problems especially on your browser like Internet Explorer. Of course not in the newer versions but in the older versions the people are still using them but I doubt anybody uses anything less than Internet Explorer 7 in today's date at the time of making this video. So let's go further and see exactly what's happening. Now notice one thing very carefully when you're using external JavaScript files you're not supposed to put inline JavaScript code between the script and the closing script tags. If you do that the external file will be run and the inline code is gonna be ignored. So let's go let me show you that in action go to webstorm here between this opening and closing script let's write an alert here it says hey what's up and a semicolon. Now if you go to test.js this says hello world and if you go here this says hey what's up so which one of them is gonna be run let's take a look at that go to opera it'll say hello world and nothing else it is ignoring this statement which said hey what's up because when you're using an external JavaScript file you're not supposed to put anything here keep it blank as it is so you can also have JavaScript files from a different website now in the source attribute what you do in this case is you put the complete URL of the file over here now remember one thing this is a very tricky business if you're trying to do that then the code from the external domain is going to be loaded and interpreted as if it was a part of the page that is loading it now this is very risky that's because if you're not owning that domain if someone else owns that website or someone else is the owner of the JavaScript file they could modify that file in some way which can affect your website and hence don't directly link to external websites unless you own that particular site yourself so this is one thing that you need to keep in mind so everything that you write in terms of external scripts are going to be executed in order in which they appear on the page as long as the differ and async attributes are not present now we will be talking about this differ and async attributes in the upcoming videos in a lot more detail but the basic idea is when you have multiple scripts what's going to happen is that the first script tag the external script is going to be run completely then the second script will, will be completely loaded and processed and so on in perfect order so this is the basic execution that you have for external javascript files over here so in this video we have discussed how external javascript works we've talked about quite some things like linking directly to external sites and the order in which they execute in the next video we'll further dig into javascript and take a look at what's there to offer in the meantime if you like what you saw please like this video Share this video, subscribe to our channel and let us know your thoughts in the comment boxes below. Thanks to RJ Christie for giving us these presentations. Have a nice day and catch you later.